Hey Chris, how you doing? It's Leo again from Arona Marketing. Here's a video that I wanted to get sent over to you with some tips and tricks that can be done in-house to increase your website and your Google business profile. Um, I'd love to hear some feedback from you whenever you get finished this video, if you got a second. I know you're super busy, uh, but I'm gonna go over your Google business profile and I'm gonna go over your website. Just do a quick audit. Uh, first off, uh, my eyes are drawn directly to Laura's A1 painting. I love that logo. It is amazing. Uh, I love the ways you have to convert up here at the top. I love your call to action that you have. Uh, over Well over 50% of people are searching on their phone so they can get right to your website and give you a call from there. Uh, some people's a little timid and shy, so they don't like talking on the phone. So having... Uh, email support up here is a very good idea. Um, and the website's not, not bad at all, man. It's, it really highlights your work. You do amazing work. I know, uh, if you can get the clients, you will definitely stay busy, uh, because your work definitely speaks for itself. Uh, but one thing I would suggest is when you're doing this, we need to get at least 1500 words of command content on this home page. Needs to be about 1500 to 2000. Um, of command content and within that content you want to have buyer intent keywords um, a buyer intent keyword uh, like we discussed earlier is just the location and the service that you provide so painting dallas texas dallas texas painter something like that that needs to go here um, right here is a missed opportunity when uploading these photos they need to be uh, sized correctly and they need to have buyer intent keywords behind them 24-7 Google bots go through these websites. They crawl every single page that you have. They're looking for buyer intent keywords. They're looking for the amount of content, what's in the content. Um, is it plagiarized content? They're looking for bolded words, interlinked words, things like that. Um, so there's more to content than just content. You know, inside that content has to be keywords and things like that. Um, now, what I do normally is I take the website and put it into a tool I use called Arifs, and it gives me the Google Analytics. Um, there's no data on this right now because it's a brand new website, which is to be expected. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just kind of show you all these through your number one competitor's website. So in order to find a painter in Dallas, Texas, a lot of people is going to type painters Dallas, Texas or painters near me. Uh, and the first thing that pops up is usual, uh, usually local ads or Google guaranteed ads, which is a good way to get clients quickly. Um, once you stop paying for those ads, though, you're gone off the top of that page. Now, down here is your map pack, your Google Maps. And this is where 30 to 40 percent of your business is going to come from. People come straight in here, click on this, get in touch with you. Uh, now, this is your um, listing right here and it doesn't look like it's optimized at all and this is really good uh, for getting business local that's around your area uh, when someone types in painters near me you know your Google business profile can be used for that um, now you're not in this top three and that's okay there's multiple ways to get there you know um, make sure that your name address and phone number are entered into as many directories as possible um, because you want to make sure that all that information is correct because you don't want to mislead Google. Um, there's a 750 character about us section on there that you can fill out. Make sure you put buyer intent keywords in there as well that you want to be found for. Uh, make sure that the photos are saved correctly as well. Like I was telling you about making sure there's buyer intent keywords uh, named as those photos. Um, because that's going to help you rank better. So a citation is what those are. So a citation is when you go to Yelp and put your business name, address, and phone number in there. That counts as one citation. So <laughs> Google's like a big popularity contest. The more you get your name in directories like Yellow Pages, White Pages, Yex, Yelp, the more your business is going to be found. And that's just not for your area, but that also goes into surrounding areas as well. Um, and then they're going to give you a call right there from your website once you're being found. Now down here is the organic section. This is where 60 to 70 percent of your business is coming from and the maps is going to take up the 30 or 40 percent. So 
Big Al's is number one in the map pack for this keyword, and they're number one in the organics. Uh, don't really count the directories or the home advisor, Angie List. Those people are crooks. You pay them for leads, and they're going to give you and nine other people the same lead. And you got to race for that lead, and you got to downbid your job, and it's just not right. Um, so Big Al's Paintings, your number one uh, competitor. And as you see, they've got bolded words on here. Uh, they've got keywords in their headers. This is the H1 header, uh, Dallas, Texas house painting. That's probably a keyword that they're being found for. Um, that's kind of, kind of what you want your website to kind of be like here. Honestly, they've got a lot of content on the home page. Let's see if they're saving their photos correctly. House painters, Dallas. See, that is a buyer intent keyword. So, these guys got to have someone in SEO because normally I see websites that's not SEO optimized and the uh, photos aren't saved correctly. They don't have enough content. So these guys are pretty much on par. They've got call to action up here at the top, free estimate, um, things like that. Um, so what I've done is put theirs, their tool in here. So this is what you're looking for. These are the analytics. The UR and the DR, this is the strength and the trust that their website has with Google. And they have 528 backlinks. And a backlink is simply one website linking to another website via clickable button or text. So if there is a painter's blog that has a, a big following or it has been around for a while, they can put Laura's A1 painting website on their blog and it links back to you. So that's, that's what a backlink is. Um, and then they've got organic keywords that they're being found for. So I wanted to show you some organic keywords that you can put into your website that you can be found for as well. Uh, Dallas House Painting is 500 searches a month. There's 500 people searching Dallas House Painting. So that definitely needs to be in your content. House Painter Dallas, another 500. So just a thousand searches is coming out of these two keywords alone. Not counting another 500 for Dallas House Painters, House Painting Dallas, another 400 um, House Painters in Dallas. There is massive volume here. Um, so by adding more content, having um, more uh, content, more backlinks, and implementing those changes can help you start to outrank these other guys and get going. Uh, I know you called about content, Chris. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a full rundown on everything that goes on with SEO and ranking and optimizing websites. Um, some people don't know, you know, they think that once you get a website, you're good. People's going to find you, but they're not going to find you unless you're having keywords put into your content. So painters, Dallas, Texas. So if anybody's putting in uh, house painter, Dallas, that needs to go into your content that way when one of those 500 people or multiple of those 500 people are searching house painters dallas that were those keywords are in your content and that's when you get pings the more pings you get the more you start ranking and getting higher and closer to that first page um i hope you enjoyed this video that i made for you um i hope i, I hope i explained everything uh well enough and thoroughly so you understand it um, a lot of it's just fancy words that they've got played, you know, with backlinks is just simply your websites on another website. A citation is just your name, address, and phone number. Um, keywords is just the name of the service that you provide in the city. So it gets overwhelming sometimes, but I hope I explained everything well to you. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, just call me, email, text, whatever you need to do and get in touch with me, Chris, and then we'll go from there. Hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you reaching out to me. Have a great night.